Hello, Patricia. Hi, Eric. How are you? All right. Sorry. Um, no problem. <clears throat> it's in a traffic accident by myself. Um, well, let's see if anyone else can enter here. Sorry about that. I was um, actually going up a hill in my motorcycle and we fell over backwards down the hill, but that's why uh, I am late. Uh, can you hear me okay, Patricia? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. um, in the chat, I'm, I'm a student for enter. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if anyone else can enter. Um, Iran, how are you today? Hello, Barani. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. All right. Sorry for the delay. I was in a small accident. Uh, it's created a problem. But I'm back now. Iran, if you could maybe, um, I don't know, mute your microphone. We're getting a little bit of feedback there. Um, that'd be great. Thanks. All right. Um, one second, trying to change a setting here. One second. All right. Uh, Unchisa? Unchisa, can you hear me okay? Yes, hi. Hello. How are you? Hello, everybody. Hello, Tisha. Okay. Um, where are you I'm from? Fine, mm -hmm. I'm from Thailand. From Thailand? Great. Are you studying? Yeah. Are you working? What do you do currently? I'm working. Okay. All right. And where do you, where, what kind of job do you have? Um, I, I'm government officer. I'm a volunteer teacher at non-formal education department. Okay, great. How long have you been studying with Colingo for? Pardon? Oh, sorry. How long? How long have you been studying with Colingo for? Oh, I'll write that out. It's just about four days ago. Okay, Not for about so four time. days. I'm. A, I'm new. Okay, great. Well, glad to have you in class here with us. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. In Varani, sorry for being uh, late there once again. Uh, I don't know if you heard my explanation there. I was going up the hill in my motorcycle and we fell over backwards because it was a really steep hill but uh, but we're all right um, we're all right uh, Noro can you hear me okay or is this the same GR me. from yesterday yeah this is me GR <laughs> okay hi how are you good hi, all right hold on one second while I um, uh, Get something pulled up here. So this is a listening class. Um, one second, I had a video ready, which I lost.
too much. Uh, All right. Um, who just came in? Giovanni, can you hear me okay? Yes, I hear you. Uh, where are you from, Giovanni? El Salvador. El Salvador. And are you working, studying? What do you do currently? Are you working currently? Are you studying? I'm studying. Okay. What do you study? I'm studying uh, engineering and system. Okay. An engineer? Great. Yeah. Well, glad you are here in class uh, with us today. Um, I'm going to, we'll do a little bit of reading. Um, and so we can work on some listening and comprehension too. But I'll uh, do some of the reading, something easy here. Um, and so we can work on some listening and comprehension. But I'll, Jonathan, if you could maybe use the headset here, or if you can hear the echo. Jonathan, if you could maybe use the headset. Or, uh, we need to uh, fix that. Uh, <laughs> all right. One second. I'm just going to do some basic reading. This is a beginner class. Um, and we'll have a little bit of conversation. Um, one second here. All right. Varani, can you see this link? No, it's a little, a little work. I put the uh, link in the chat box. Maybe you could go there to that link. My, my uh, chat, my chat my, I can see. I can see my chat. Uh, you'd have to click on Colingle on the left hand side and that should pop out the chat box there. The chat. Chat chat. So on the left of the screen there should be something that says Colingle. And um, yep, that's the uh, regular chat, but we use the Colingle chat, which should be about two boxes down where it says Colingo. Go ahead and click on that. Or I can give you the link there anyway. But um, all right, Patricia, yes. can you see the link there? Yes. All right. Could you start? Could you read the first three paragraphs for me there, Patricia? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where it says Cynthia and George. Oh, yes. It'll be pretty simple because it's a beginner class, but. Uh, go ahead and try to read that for me. I have a... Cynthia and Charles went shopping together at Walmart. I need a water dispenser for my office, Cynthia told Charles. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by water dispenser? Charles asked. You know, one of those things that they put the big five gallon shark upside down into. Then you can pour yourself cold water using the blue handle or hot water using the red handle, Cynthia said. Very good, Patricia. Could you say at for me? Uh, at? At. With the, we always want to pronounce the T at the end. At. At. And George. George. Georgia. Georgia. Very good. And asked. At. Asked. Asked. Very asked. good. <laughs> All right. Very good. Uh, reading there. Barani, have you found the article yet? Okay, have you found the link? Barani. Uh, is 
I, I, I see. Okay. Could you try to read the next two paragraphs for me? Um, a little, a little uh, big, a little big, un poco más grande. All right. Um, I can't really control the size, but if you could just go to the link, maybe in a web browser, but. Um, and they said, George, George tried to tell her. George tried to tell her that she, she had to few clients. Clients, uh, teaching clients. Mm -hmm. Coming client. to client, client, coming to her office to need salt a dispenser. He told her to buy a cows of bored water. She could keep the bore uh, cold in the office, office refrigerator. Plus, she had a stove and a coffee maker in her office. So she could use elder of them to pour hot water for her client, client or herself. Very good. Um, could you say bottled for me, Barani? Bottled. Bottle. Bottle. Bottled duh, with the D at the end. Bottled. Duh. Bottle. Very good. Bottle. And cased. Case. Case. Mm -hmm. case. A case okay. of bottled water. A case of bottled water. Perfect. And such. Such. Very good. Clients. Clients. Very good. Clients. Clients. Very good. Thank yes, you. in the end. Thank and you. either. Last one. Either. E. Either. Either. Oh, either. Either. So she could use either of them. Either of them. Either of, of them. Excellent. All right. And Unchisa, could you read the next paragraph there for me? The next paragraph? Yes, please. It says a contract. Okay. A contact with a water company is going to cost you at least um, 30 a month. He accrues, accrues, accrued, and maybe you won't even be consum consuming. That's much water a month. Why don't you wait a few months and see how many silence you get and then decide if a water dispenser is absolute, absolutely necessary. If it is by it then there are no rush to buy it now. Very good, Unchisa. Good job. Let's uh, work on a couple words there. Could you say contract? Contract. Very good. Contract. Excellent. Contract. Mm -hmm. And um, argued. Argued. This word. Argus. Argus. Ar argued. 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 Okay. Argued. Argued. Do you know argued. what argued means, Unchisa? No. No. All right. <laughs> Let's, I'll try to find a definition. But you argue with someone when you're kind of fighting with them verbally. It's like a verbal fight is an argument. Um, let's see here. Uh, 
Um, oh, so that's it's I'm, like a verbal fight, an argument. Uh, one second. Argue. One second here. I'll put this in the chat box for argue to give reasons or okay. cite evidence in support of an idea. Uh, there we go. Um, and also, Unchisa, could you say clients for me? Unchisa, could you say yes. clients? Could you say clients for me? Clients. Clients. Very good. Clients. And absolutely. Thank you. And one more word. Could you say absolutely? Yeah, absolutely. Very good. Could the whole class try absolutely? Absolutely. Very good. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Excellent. All right. Uh, Noro, yes. could you try the next paragraph for me? Okay. In addition, he argued that the trunk of her car was too small for the dispenser to fit into, nor would, nor would it fit into her back seat. So, end of argument, he concluded. They left Walmart. Cynthia dropped George off, off, at, dropped George off at his place and then drove back to Walmart. The dispenser was in box that was almost the size of Cynthia, but she carted in out to the parking lot, of, uh, lot and managed somehow to get into the, her trunk. Very good. Uh, excellent there. Noro, could you just say managed? Managed. And do you understand what managed means in this context? Uh, let me read the, the sentence. Where is it exactly? At the end of the very end of the paragraph. But she carted it out to the parking lot and managed somehow to get it into her trunk. Uh, means she she took she took a rest. No. No. Managed um, in this context is a little bit different. Um, Let's see. This isn't a very good definition. Let's see. But managed in this would be she barely got it, or she had difficulty doing it. If she she managed, like I, you could say I barely managed to get to class today. Um, what does that mean? It means I had difficulty to getting down. to class today because of the traffic accident I had. So I yes. barely managed to get to class, which means I almost didn't get to class. Okay. Well, I got here late. But Cynthia almost didn't get the dispenser into the trunk of her car because it was so big. So that's how she managed. Uh, she barely managed or she uh, had to somehow she managed to get it into her car. Very good. All right. Anyone have any questions on any of the words or sentences um, in this short story so far? How to pronounce something, what it means? No. All right. Maria, can you hear me okay? Yes, hello. Hi, Maria. How are you? I'm fine. And where are you from, Maria? I'm from Ecuador. Ecuador? What yes. part of Ecuador are you from? Guayaquil. Guayaquil. Are you studying right now, going to school? What do you do? I am working and studying. All right. What kind of job do you have? The, the job is a business family. Uh, I have hotel. Okay, uh, so it's a family business. Yes. Okay, it's a family business, and so your family has a hotel. Yeah, exactly. All right. And how many rooms does your hotel have? 
21 rooms. All right. How much does a room cost for one person? For one person, $28. $28. The room has air conditioning, TV cover, Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. So it's a really nice hotel? Excuse me? It's a nice hotel then? Yes, it's in the in front of the beach. Oh, I okay. I live in um, the beach. All right. Do you get a lot of foreign tourists, or are they mainly people from Ecuador there? Uh, okay. Please uh, repeat the question. Who normally stays at the hotel? Foreigners or locals? People from Ecuador. Uh, foreigners, foreigners, uh, mm -hmm. people. Ecuador. Okay. Very interesting. So someday you'll be the owner of the hotel then. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Very do you good. know Ecuador? Uh, no, but I almost do. I live about four hours from Ecuador. Uh, uh, I live in the north part of Peru right now, but hopefully I'll go to Ecuador soon. Uh, um, but one quick note, Maria. In Spanish, you know, we'd say, conoces Ecuador, uh, but in English, we would never use that as, do you know Ecuador? We'd only use conocer, that, like that, no, for people. So normally in English, we'd have to ask something like, ha sido a Ecuador? Have you been to Ecuador? Something like that. Have you been to Ecuador before? Have you ever visited Ecuador? Well, we would never say, do you know Ecuador? We only know people. In English, we don't know places. Uh, we just know people. Okay, thank you. All right. Do you know Dominican Republic pictures? Uh, how would you ask that? I don't know places. It's a nice place. But in English, we don't know any places. How would you ask that question? We would say, have you been to the Dominican Republic? Right? Yeah. Rani? Have you been? Uh, have I been to the Dominican Republic? No, I haven't. Okay, uh, have you been? Been. But mm -hmm. so I haven't. Right, I haven't been. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, my baby arrived. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Um, Jonathan, can you hear me okay? Yes, actually, I'm not a guy. I'm just a girl. <laughs> all right. What's your name? Ana Maria. Ana Maria. Yep. Uh, do you see the co-lingual chat, Ana Maria? Yes, I did. Okay, because there's two chats. I just saw you write something in the top chat. They're under two boxes down under the screen share. It should say Colingo. Okay, if you, right. If you click on that, it should open up another chat box there. Okay. All right. Where are you from, Ana I'm Maria? From Colombia. From Colombia? What yeah. part of Colombia are you from? From Bogota. And do you work? Do you go to school? I go to school. I go to university. All right. What are you studying? Uh, I study law. Law. You want to be a lawyer? Yeah, <laughs> I hope so. All right. Why do you want to be a lawyer? Can you repeat, please? Why do you want to be a lawyer? Uh, I don't know. Actually, I love the. I don't know if I can say constitutional, for example. Mm -hmm. That's the part that I love, so I want to work. Okay. Well, glad you're in class. Nice to meet you. Giovanni, uh, there's just a little bit left here, but could you read the last two sentences there for me in the short story? Yes. Mm -hmm. That night, when George called it, he asked, you didn't go back to the Walmart and buy that thing, did you? Of course not, she told him. Very good. Just two words there, which are some of the most difficult uh, in English, is when we have the D at the end. Uh, so if you could say called for me. Called. 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 
Duh. Very good. And asked. Uh, that's pronounced a little differently. Uh, we don't say asked it. It's pronounced differently. We say asked. Almost with like a T sound. Asked. Very good. All right. Glad you're in class today, Giovanni. Um, we'll do a little bit more reading. Ana Maria, if yeah. you can see this link uh, where I'm at now, why don't you read the first paragraph there? Where it says Jim and Alicia. So everybody can see the, the text. Mm. Where I, I can see the text. Uh, one second. I gave the link uh, there, and now it should be back on the screen. But okay. What part do I do? I have to read. Just the first paragraph where it says Jim and Alicia. Okay. Um, Jim and Alicia had two dogs, Box and Brian. They were both 15 years. Sorry. Fifteen years old, Bonnie was dying, Bugs was still healthy. They were brother and sister and have been together since birth. They had never been separated for longer than a couple of hours. Very good, Ana Maria. Pronounced everything uh, pretty good there. Good job. Uh, Mar Maria, can you hear me? Maria, Maria Jose. All right, we'll, uh, we'll come back. Uh, uh, Noro, why don't you try the next paragraph for me? Okay. Jim and Alicia weren't sure what to do. The vet had told them that Bunny was in pain and might continue to suffer for as long as another year. This was unacceptable to both Jim and Alicia. So putting Bunny to sleep now instead of letting her suffer was not an issue. However, what to do about Bugs? The vet said Bugs was still healthy. He could last another two he could last another two to three years. But how long? They they wondered, would he last without his sister? Very good. Just a couple words. Could you say unacceptable? Unacceptable. Very good. Perfect. And wondered. Wondered. Very good. And when you say, when it says putting Bunny to sleep, what does that mean? Yes. To put Bunny to uh, sleep. To, to let him die. Very good. We're not let him die, but make him <laughs> make him die. That would be, <laughs> I guess. Well, that's yeah. why they say putting to sleep because that sounds bad, but it means to, yeah. uh, you know, give him something so that he dies. Kill him. Yeah. Would be the not. Yeah. Um, so they would say putting him down or putting him to sleep. I mean, there you guys might also hear. Uh, this he had to put him down and in that sense if it's talking about an animal that means they had to kill the animal or they had to put him to yes. sleep he had to put him to sleep very good because, Noro. yes all Thanks. right but Pat Patricia yeah. why don't you why don't you try the next uh, Bunny. For me. Okay. Bunny had always been bad big sister. She was confident and assertive. Bug was rather timid. He didn't mean when his sister bossed him around. She was also there for him when he was feeling anxious. Bug followed with Bunny everywhere and whenever Bunny decided to sleep back over uh, back always curled up next to her whether he was sleepy or not 
Very good, Patricia. Good job. Uh, a couple words we could work on. Can you say mind? Mind. He didn't mind when his sister bossed him around. He didn't mind. He didn't mind when his sister bossed him around. Very good. And could you say bossed? Bossed. Almost sounds like a T on the end. Bossed. Mm -hmm. Bossed. Very, very good. And decided. Decided. Very good. And whenever Bunny decided to sleep. Whenever Bunny decided to sleep. Very good. And last word, next. Next. Very good. Good job pronouncing the T at the end. Next. Okay. Next. Very good. Next. Always curled up next to her. Very good. All right. Unchisa, why don't you try yes. this last Sorry, can I little ask bit. You a question? Sure, Noro. Go ahead. Thanks. Uh, what does it mean to bust someone <laughs> around? To boss someone around means to tell them what to do. Uh, hmm. To boss would mean to tell them what to do, um, or basically to make yourself their boss. <laughs> okay. So now you start uh, telling them what to do, making yourself in charge of them. Very good. Any other questions on that paragraph? Mm -hmm. no? For me, it's clear. All right. Unchisa. Why don't you yes. read this last last little bit for me? The last paragraph? Yes, please. Okay. Jim and Alicia both arrived at the same con conclusion without very much discussion. Oh, keep going. Hello. Yep, keep going. Finish the next sentence for me. Yep. You can keep reading, Unchisa. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. When they took Bunny to the wet so that she could be put to sleep, Bust went too. Very good. Good job. Just two words there. Can you say conclusion? Conclusion? Very good. Conclusion. Conclusion. Very good. And discussion. Mm. Discussion. 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 No, okay. Very good. Discussion. Mm -hmm. Conclusion. Discussion. Okay. Conclusion. Discussion. Okay. Very good. Good I, job. I know. <laughs> All right. Any questions I don't know on? The meaning. Oh, the meaning. All right. Hold on one second. Um, a a conclusion. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me try to get a, a definition. Conclusion here. is like an agreement or something like that. Um, Between sort of. Um. This might be a good definition here. I'll put in someone. The result or outcome of an act or process, it's, um, it's almost like a decision. Um, right, the, last, the last word. Right. To conclude yeah. would be yeah, so maybe a final Ooh. arrangement or yeah. settlement. Final decision. Mm -hmm. A final decision. Okay. That would be a good definition. Or a, a final decision would be a conclusion. Um, and do you know what discussion means? Discussion. Why not? It's a kind of dialogue. Mm -hmm. Discussion is when two people are talking about a certain topic. You yeah. could have a discussion about politics. Um, this. S of S of discussion can yeah yeah for the What was that, Varani? 
uh, a disco dis dis discussion mm -hmm. que él um, puede traer que una pelea quiero decir uh, oh. no that's different in Spanish um, dis discutir oh, is yeah. is when you're kind of fighting with someone um, but a discussion is friendly normally okay. Okay. Uh, okay. it's like a talk uh, um, Speech, yes. In the spine, it's different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, yeah, it's not, this discutir is bad. Just yeah. having a discussion is healthy, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Barani, why don't you try to um, read a little bit for me on this next one and this link, if you can find it. Um, if you could read the first paragraph for me there. 